Hey guys, it's Jenna, and I am here with a haul video specifically from Vans Warp Tour. And I'm also going to talk about my experience because this year I went to a different venue than I normally did. And we'll get to that later. But for now, let's check out what I got. Okay, so the first thing I got was this pair of Vans sunglasses. Now, um, they're nothing really to write home about. They're just like these little plastic, like sort of, like kind of sturdy material, I guess. Uh, they're impact proof, I think that's what the sticker said, but I got these for free because when you went to the Vans 10, you were the first 200 to say the, uh, phrase, uh, ours was stone crabs, which was weird, because, like, I, I went to the Orlando date, and what does Orlando have to do with crabs, but whatever, and, uh, I didn't even remember the whole, like, code thing. I was just trying to get to the Vans tent, and, uh... I, they kept sending me away further and further. I'm like, what? I just wanted to get the hat and shirt. And then when I got in line for the tent, finally, I was like, it just hit me. But that was great. But uh, yeah, but it kind of sucks because I had an autograph sticker in there. And because it rained, everything got wet. So like, now that there's all this pink stuff. But if I fold it like this, nobody really notices. But they're still a great pair of glasses. I think I'm going to keep them in my car. Uh, the next thing I got was the, like, hat and shirt combo after I got the sunglasses, and I got this hat, which is really neat, and I also got the shirt that went with it. Uh, for some reason, Warp Tour didn't have the hats posted on Facebook, like, pictures of what the hats were like, but, uh, this is a medium, so it's gonna be, like, a little big on me, but that's okay, I like comfy shirts, and I love this design. Uh, it's like this beautiful sunset, and then it's like the reflection of the water. I really like shirts like that, and, but yeah, like I said, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really big on me, but I like comfy shirts, and, uh, honestly, I think, like, sometimes smalls are, like, kind of really cut really tight, which is weird, but it's okay. Next thing I got was something that was really important to me. Now, you could have brought 20 or 50 water bottles to the eco tent, and you would have gotten a... I thought you had to, you would, you'd be entering in a contest to get a shirt or a sweatshirt, but no, you just, they just gave it to them, to you, and they had shirts, they were giving away shirts from previous Warped Tours, and I got one from 2011, which is great, because, like, this is, that was the first Warped Tour I went to, and that really means a lot to me, because, like, I, I, I don't think I got a shirt from that day, I just got... Uh, the hat and shirt combo, and it was, and the shirt was just, like, the, uh, badge that said Warped Tour 2011, so, yeah. I really love it, because it says, we are warped, right here, and that's really neat, and it has, like, all the dates on the back, too, and it's really cool, because, like, now I get to look back on it, and remember that my first Warped Tour date was July 30th at West Palm Beach, Florida. That's really cool. I'm really happy I got this. This is like the, my favorite thing I got. Um, okay, so now things are getting a little random. Um, I got a free uh, drawstring bag from Epitaph, which was cool, and it came with stickers that proceeded to get damaged because of the rain. And figures, like the Sleeping with Sirens one, gets damaged, but that's okay. I think it's still used. But it's really cool because like, it has like, a lot of stuff. It's got like Wishes City soundtrack on it. Uh, there's Ronnie Radke from Falling in Reverse, and, like, the f I'm kind of glad the Falling in Reverse sticker got, like, the biggest damage, because I don't really care for that one at all. But, uh, it's like, I killed a palm queen, this wildlife, some pizza design going on, and, and, it's, like, it's really cool, and, yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's really, it's really cool. Um... Uh, another thing I got was the uh, Cool Gear Warp Tour can, but I am really bummed because I, it was on the side of my bag, you know, where, like, the bottle holder goes, and it, it just, this happened, and I'm really upset, because I like to take care of things, I like to collect things, and, like, mine from last year is a little beaten up, too, but, like, at least the, you, the pattern's still fine, but it's okay, my date wasn't, um... Uh, my date wasn't damaged, which is nice, and, uh, I'm kind of, I'm glad the shark is okay. I really like the sharks on these. Like, the artist is really cool. You should totally, he's selling his stuff at Warped Tour, which is awesome. But, 
Yeah, but, like, I love these cans, though. They are actually really good quality cans to keep your can, your water, like, what, drinks or whatever, uh, pretty well. Cool, it's just, like, Cool Gear needs to rethink their design and maybe get, like, a, a stronger, like, maybe, like, some sort of outer coating to protect the pattern. Just please, please, Cool Gear, think about this. Oh, man, one of my favorite things I got, I got a sticker signed by MC Lars, and I talked to him for a while. And he was great. It's the third time I saw him, but it stinks because, like, it's supposed to say general rules. Because of the rain, it all, like, kind of smudged everywhere. And as you see, it got on my sunglasses. But that's okay. Um, it was still great to meet him. And, like, I got a few business cards. I got a business card from, uh, uh, Ash from Handjob Academy. It's really neat. There's, like, a little puppy on it. Neat. I also got one for... Kate Kasson, because I saw them, they were pretty cool, and, uh, you could download a song thanks to that code, um, I'm gonna use it, so sorry guys. I also got this awesome sticker while I was waiting to open, it's called, uh, Tattooed and Loved, which is exactly how people should feel, like, discriminating people from, like, jobs or anything with tattoos is just stupid. I don't have any tattoos myself, but I wouldn't mind getting one in the future if I could just pick something that would mean a lot to me. And, but yeah, but this is a great sticker. I'm gonna hang it on my wall. Really awesome. And the last thing I got was the Vans Warped Tour 2015 Burt design in the color burgundy. Even though I've been getting a lot of blue, I actually, I look really good in burgundy, in my opinion, and I don't have enough burgundy in my wardrobe, so this was nice. It's got all the dates on it, which is really cool. And also, like, this is a size medium, so it's gonna be, like, a really comfy shirt. I was actually wearing this yesterday, and I love it. It's so good. It's it's a great shirt. I love getting the shirts from Warped Tour, and I don't know. I like collecting shirts for events because they seem like an actual investment, because, like, it's something you wear, and clothing is a good investment. It's always a good investment. And that's all that I got. Um, and so now let's talk about... Let's talk about how the day actually went. Um, Alright, so I'm never going to the Orlando date again. Uh, Orlando is notorious for paying for parking and we had to pay $20 to park, which was ridiculous. I mean, we could have found somewhere cheaper, but we'd already parked and traffic was chaos, so I didn't move. But my friend, Dina, she volunteered at the St. Pete date, so she got a free ticket and we sold it to some scalper. And we got 20 bucks from it, so she, since she was going to owe me gas money anyway, uh, we paid for it. And now the venue itself was nice. Uh, Tinker Field is... Oh, that was nice. It was nice. Um, it was like right next to the stadium where Orlando City plays. And um, oh, it was really spacious. And I, I kept getting lost though, because this is like... I usually go to the West Palm date, and I, I don't know where... I didn't know where to go a lot of the times. So I was like looking at the map like... <laughs> and... It was just crazy. And some good things were, um, I got, like, I got, like, front row for Set It Off, which was great. Uh, they're really great live. I've seen them, like, twice. I've been in one of their music videos, which was really cool, for Ancient History. And they opened with Ancient History. And that was really great. But I was checking out the Ernie Ball stage a lot, trying to kill time after Set It Off. And I saw Kasson, and I saw Capstan, and they were really cool. Uh, I know Capstan is local, and I'm pretty sure Kasson... And Kasson is too, but I wasn't sure. And like, uh, I was waiting to for MC Lars to come on because I love MC Lars. But uh, I missed Drama Club, which kind of stinks, and they're really good live. So I just I, I just decided to kill time, wait in line, and met them. They were really nice, and they seemed really happy when I was like telling them how they blew me away. Because like they were really good. They're really good. Like I know it's kind of like the EDM part, kind of like is like off putting, but it's like it's a good time. It's really fun, and um. But yeah, but then I met, finally he's got this, then I saw Kosha Dills, which I wasn't really looking forward to, but he completely changed my mind. He was so much fun to watch. And then MC Lars got on, it was great, and oh my god, he's always wonderful. And then this band, um, Stack Like Pancakes came on for uh, his song, The Strike Dynamic Robot Kills, which is a song about ska music. And they were the only ska band on Warped Tour this year, and I really wish I saw their full set. But seeing them with MC Lars, that was really fun. They're really talented. Go look them up. I'm, I'm instantly in love with them. They're amazing. And, uh, 
But after that, uh, like, I ran to see Pierce the Veil, and I could barely see them, but uh, some guy got a really good picture for me, so that's great. So check out my Instagram to see that. Or I'll just put it right here. And, uh, but yeah. They ran to my friends, Follows Villains, and that was really great to see them. I hadn't seen them in a while. I really missed them. I didn't know they were going, and, I don't know, it was just really great to see them. We got a free monster together, just hung out for a while, and then we had to split ways, and I was, like, waiting. Okay, and here it comes... Here comes the bad news. It's like, I was waiting for asking Alexandria to finish. Like, nothing against them, but I just, like, I didn't, I don't listen to them, sorry. But they weren't bad, though. They were worth checking out, and it was fun, but I was just, I'm not gonna lie, I was waiting for selfish reasons, because, like, so I could get at the barricade, because it, the lineup was August Burns Red, Black Veil Brides, and The Wonder Years. And if I could get, like, that was the best way to end Warped War for me, so I could get in the front. And I did get right at the barricade for August Bird's Red. Or at least I was, like, right behind someone, and we all, like, I became friends with them around, and we were all planning, like, go crazy for Black Veil Brides. But I, I really liked August Bird's Red. I'm a fan now, and they're really great live, and I got the best picture of them. Like, check out my Instagram. And, uh, it... I, it started to rain about halfway through their set, and that's when the storm came, and we had to be, like, not evacuated, but we had to get undercover twice, and I, twice I had to run for my life to get back to my barricade spot, and though it worked, it was really all for naught. I got to, I was front row for Black Veil Brides, though. And that was really nice. And Andy was great. Like, the band was great. Everyone, like, it was a good time. But it just, it kind of sucked because they had to end early, too. It also kind of sucked because August Burns Red couldn't finish their set. And that's not fair. And then, like, at, like when they cut off Black Veil Rides, they were like, okay, we had to go back to our cars and leave. So I couldn't even see the Wonder Years. And... I couldn't go to Jacksonville the next day because, like, I just don't have time for that or the gas money. Because I got things to do. I got other things to do. And, um, it, it just... I'm really upset. I was looking forward to seeing them for months ever since they got announced. And uh, I hope, like, everyone who went to the Orlando date and couldn't see them, like, let's, like, go on Twitter or something and hashtag for them to, like, come to Orlando for their next tour. Or at least some spot in Florida that's reasonable. I mean, I did have a good time, and like I said, I was front row for Black Veil Brides, one of my favorite bands, and that was a good time, and like, Andy was, like, the band and Andy, like, they all just looked so happy because we'd all stayed for, like, an, an extra hour just to see them in the pouring rain, and I mean, it had slowed down when they were playing, but then it just, like, this thunder picked back up again, and that's when we had to leave. But, again, all in all, I had a good time. But I'm probably going to West Palm next year. Uh, okay, well, that's it for me. This video has gotten really long, but uh, that doesn't matter for me because my account's verified. <laughs> so uh, I will be posting uh, clips from all the bands that I saw uh, in a few days whenever I get around to that. And so look for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.